Hi guys and welcome to part 2 or episode 2 of my nothing to dissolver. So as you may remember in the last video we were kind of just starting off with our 100 credits and we're trying to get our dissolver. So today we have part 2 of those trades um, which I'm going to go through bit by bit um, and you'll see kind of by the end what we've done here. So let's jump in. So first of all I'd actually just like to say in the first episode um, I had two extra blueprints as well as the 100 credits um, which I didn't even realise I had. I was playing a couple of games um, back when the Golden Lanterns came out um, to get a couple of extra of those and uh, I forgot that I had the blueprints, I didn't transfer them over to my main account so I did trade the Spiralis blueprint as one that I had for the Twisted Tree which you will see later on in the video and I will actually be giving away that Twisted Tree later on um, probably at the end of the series when I give away the Dissolver as well. So um, just to clarify that in case anyone noticed or maybe you haven't noticed um, but just to make that clear um, so I haven't really made any profit at all from it but like I said I will be giving it away along with the Dissolver at the end of the series if you want to know how to enter the giveaway it'll be in the description of this video and all of the videos that I'll be posting as part of the series. So for the first trade I'm using looking for group posts. Um, this one was actually a really good trade. I had some of the Shakaras that I bought at the end of the last video. Um, so in this one here we actually did a trade for an orange halo and a turbine whale which is an exotic. So basically the orange halo you could easily get 50 credits, 50 to 100 for. Um, so more on the 50 credits what I see them selling for. And um, possibly 50 for the turbine however it's not painted or anything so it'll most likely go for less. So in this next trade, if you remember from the last video, we bought Anodized, I think we got it for 50 credits. This guy's offering um, the orange grip strides, now it's not the inverted ones, um, and nippers. Now the grip stride actually goes for 100 to 200 credits, so that's a lot of profit there. Anodized is about 50 to 80 credits in value. Um, now the nipper is not worth a lot, but for the grips, that's a really, really good deal. So this trade is for Tactician Goop and 10 credits. Now I probably wasn't really going to get much for the Shikaris, they're not a major seller since they are a rocket pass. Whereas Goop on the other hand, I think it is worth 70 to 90 credits and an extra 10 credits. So we've made a profit there considering we paid 10 credits for all of the Shikaris. So going back to the start of this video, um, we bought an orange halo and the turbine um, in exchange for three painted shikaras. So this here we are actually selling the orange halo to make a bit of a profit. So if you remember for all the shikaras and the painted limiteds we actually paid 10 credits for the whole lot. So anything above that is profit. Um, so what we did was we actually sold the orange halo for 70 credits here. Like I said it goes to 50 to 100 but people tend to get more on the 50 side of it because it's orange. Um, but we managed to get 70 for it here so that was quite a good trade there. So I changed our car around a little bit just to keep things interesting. Um, a lot of this trading relates to the first video so it's a carry on um, from episode 1. So if you haven't already watched episode 1, it's live on my channel, um, you can have a look at it if you want to keep up to date, um, or else you might not know what's going on here. But in episode 1 we actually bought a Crimson Komodo blueprint for 20 credits. It was a panic buy, probably not my best move, but as you can see here we actually sold it for a couple of items. Like I said in the first video, the Komodo blueprint it costs more to actually build than it would cost to trade for it so I was just happy to get a couple of items for it instead of trying to build it or sell it on. So this trade here, if you remember episode 1, um, the first trade we actually did, we bought a couple of blueprints for 10 credits. So here we're actually selling those remaining blueprints um, for a couple of items. Now the items aren't anything amazing, but I'd rather have items and blueprints, they are a bit harder to sell. Um, so overall quite happy with that. 
So this is the trade that I was talking about at the start of this video where I sold the Spiralis blueprint for the Twisted Tree. Now like I said I already had this blueprint that I didn't realise I had and I will be giving away the Twisted Tree at the end of the series along with the Dissolver. So just something I want to touch on very quickly, a lot of the trades that I am doing, pretty much anyone can do, I'm doing them all on looking for group posts, um, which anyone has access to. Um, I'm starting off with items, so first of all I went and got myself a lot of inventory to be able to sell, um, that way you can double sometimes treble your money and make a good bit of profit from it, and anyone can do it, it is a bit of a grind though, um, so if you're willing to put in the work for it, you can also go from nothing to something, I want to show that pretty much anyone can do it. So this trade I'm selling the turnbine that we got earlier on with the orange halo. Um, I did take a bit of an underpay for it, I probably could have gotten closer to 50 for it, but it's still a profit at the end of the day. Here we are selling some more of our painted limiteds that we got. Um, we're selling them for the Striker Crimson Gaidens. Now they are worth 100 to 150 credits, and considering they are certified, I could get a lot more than 100 credits and more on the 150 side. This trade here is we're selling our orange grip strides that we got for the anodized. We have a forest green cyclone here and a non crate rare. So the cyclone is worth 100 to 200, which is about the same as the grips, and then the non crate rare as well we can sell on. So this is just an idea of what we have in our inventory, um, it is showing some of the non-tradable items that you get with the game there, but don't mind that, um, but the rest of the inventory there you can see what we've gotten so far. So this trade here, um, we are selling what we got in the previous trade, our forest green cyclone. Now it is a bit of an underplay, we're swapping it for the grey halo. Now I find the cyclone to be a bit of a harder to sell item, um, so I am taking a bit of an underpay hit just because the grey halo is easier to sell and I'll still get the same credit value. This next trade, um, we are getting rid of the rest of our Shakaras. So we did this in two separate trades, um, the guy invited me back, he wanted the rest of the Shakaras. But we are taking 10 credits each, now that is a serious underpay but I don't mind that so much because they are a bit harder to sell and I know for a fact that I am making at least five times my profit so like I said I paid 10 credits for all of those painted limiteds together and uh, so I'm making 50 credits in total out of all of the remaining Shakaras. So we did sell some of them on in earlier trades um, so overall we've made a lot more than our 50 credit profit. So that's it for this video guys, thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for our next video and if you'd like to enter the giveaway um, just check out the description of this video and there will be more to come soon. So if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of the series please subscribe to stay updated. Alright bye guys!